Right, so um, fellow farmers and um, potential fish farmers, we want to talk briefly about some basic best practices in fish farming. I would like to start first and foremost with a technical area we call biosecurity. Almost every fish farmer knows about biosecurity, but we are not very aware with what it contains. The biosecurity is basically to keep the farm and then the materials and equipment you use as clean as possible all the time. Anytime you use an equipment, you need to clean it up with, at the very minimum, salt water and then dry it. Don't move one equipment to the next, from one tank to another tank or one cage to another cage without going through the biosecurity measures. In even entering controlled areas, you want to have your Wellington boots disinfected anytime you enter. You put on your gloves for those who practice hatchery work. When it comes to cage work, you want to be always checking for fouling around your nets. Fouling, are, you know, once you are in water, old weeds that get stuck to the nets. From time to time, you would want your worker who dives and is good to brush off these foulings so that it minimizes the infections that can go into the cage. Also make sure that your nets are hanging at at least three to five meters from the bottom of your lake or your water source because over time excrement and also feed that have sunk to the bottom tend to develop ammonia and other acids which are not very good and when they start to rise and come back into the nets or the tanks or cages it can bring about infection